Hello. Um, the good news is I've got a bricklayer and he's come in uh, and give me some help. Uh, he's thrown up this blockwork for me uh, and this is to height um, for our concrete block and beam floor to sit on. We're just waiting for the beams to come in. Um, I'm quite happy with all this. It doesn't seem to be any issue really. Uh, everything seems in order. But in this space, the garden room, there's something not quite right. This is obviously our bay and our window, our bay window will sit in here and he's, he's thrown this up basically as I'd expect expecting to, the, the window will sweep round and, and join the end of the building there but on this side he's done this and he's insisted that this this DPM has to go in so that there is a break between the outer skin and the inner skin which I understand in, in most applications that's why we have cavities but not in this application I would have thought because I've got joists sitting on the top of here uh, and this doesn't look good at all I've got to, got to have a joist sitting on here and a joist sitting on here and, and we really need some strength um, here now this is an all rendered finish on the outside it's it, it doesn't look so bad uh, so all this is all this is going to be rendered um, I just think it's, it's it just doesn't look right having this in here and I'd be inclined to take this corner down and rebuild it um, solid not solid as in solid because this is a cavity wall so I just and we have full fill insulation in the top here but I would bring this for the sake of strength rebuild this so that the walling goes all the way around the outside uh, this wall only goes as high as the window itself and then it's onto a flat roof and then if need be if you were insisted on some other waterproofing measures on the outside uh, then I'd follow your instruction but I think I need this needs to come down but I would uh, as always value your opinion um, what do you think